Lord, sea life was good, man. It was good, man. Peace. How you living, man? I'm good, man. How you doing? Doing all right. Doing all right. You just graduated recently, ain't you? I did. For sure. For VCU. Word. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. Thank you. How you feeling about that? I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, Everybody keep asking me what I'm going to do with the degree I got. But I ain't really go to the fucking college for a degree, for real. I went for the experience. But, um... It's exciting to have a diploma. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. To be a college graduate. No cap, man. Shit, a lot of shit I wanted to talk to you about today was like, man, like, I know you was going to school. You feel me? I know you was making music. While doing that, you was still being a father. You feel me? That's major. I feel like that take a different type of grind, a different type of nigga to really pull that off and still be able to be pushing out as much music, pushing out as much content as you've been doing. You feel mm -hmm. me? Still chasing their dreams. So man, what has that been like? What that journey been like so far? Life changing, man. Eye opening, <clears throat> mind altering for sure. Like, for example, like I ain't start college as a father, so it surprised me to even have to go through that. You feel what I'm saying? I had to change my mindset, change my patterns, change everything about myself to be able to be someone who could be a father and still push for the things I was pushing. Before that ever came about, type shit. Yeah. Okay. So. Speaking of that, man, like, <coughs> so how old is your, your son right now? He's two years and three months. So what you yeah. like, what a sophomore? Yeah, bro. Yeah. I went. I was. I was just hitting the like the the highs of college. Show. Sure. Like um freshman. Yeah, I was a sophomore when I got the news, and it's just um, it was definitely unexpected. But it won't a surprise, <laughs> like you know what I say. <laughs> but yeah, once once I found out, I had to just like, for real, I had to take a month to myself. Yeah, I remember taking that month, and that month really consisted of, like, do I come back home and just stop chasing what it was that I was chasing, or do I got them? Buckle up my bootstraps and figure out the fuck, like, you know what I'm saying? How I'm going to figure out a way to be in his life and push at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Because time is the most the most important thing you can get to anything, honestly. You feel me? Yeah. What was it like? Like, did you cry? You feel me? Was you... <clears throat> I knew I was, yeah, I shed, I shed a few tears when that happened. Because it was just so much I had going on on my plate at the time, bro. And, um... I knew that there was going to be a lot of sacrifices that had to be made if I wanted to be a father and not just a dad, you know? <clears throat> and that's so, major, though. That's, it's a big difference between being a father and being a dad. Oh, yeah, for sure. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure, sure. So, your first moment, what, do you remember that day when you first heard When this? I first heard yeah, yeah, of course, bro. Who's that, <laughs> man? Let's go into the day. Man, I was chilling. I was relaxing and I got a I got a text. And at first, I, mean, I won't even I won't even trip about the text. I went back to chilling and then I got another text like it was like nah like for real call me. Called and shit. And when I stepped into the bathroom and I could tell it was serious. I'm like, yeah, you alright? Yeah. And then when I got the news, I ain't even respond for like a whole minute, bruh. And then when I did respond, it was just instantly like, Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, ain't no way not now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, the typical, the normal shit, ain't nothing wrong with it. Like, the real shit, like, it's real life, bro. Like, damn, ain't no way. Like, <laughs> you feel me? In the midst of all this, in the midst of growing, like, bro, I'm in the middle of shaking this poverty. Like, you feel what I'm saying? In the middle of that shit. Now I gotta put all this down. Everything that my revenue, all I gotta get put to a heart. Cause there's certain things I don't even want. Want a certain character traits I don't wanna have. Certain habits I don't wanna have. Feel me? For that, all that, as soon as they, yeah, I'm pregnant. All this is what I'm thinking. But the, res the response is, what the fuck? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? In that one second, like, you know what I'm saying? That one minute. Oh, God. But yeah. Speaking of that, I know you make rap music, you feel me? But you also got a lot of other genres you could tap into, right? Oh, so, yeah, like sure. you said, the characteristics and traits that you already wanted to stop because mm -hmm. 
you was a you felt you was a father. So like being an artist, making music, making rap music, how do you go about raising your child? You feel me? But also having a put on that image. Yeah, put on that image. Well, first I like to say it ain't an image for me. Cause like um, I don't like to rap anything I don't do or haven't done or haven't experienced in some type of way. However, I do feel yeah. you going with it like if I'm in the rap world, I'm in the hip hop world, it's a lot of shit I'm talking about, a lot of shit I'm saying, a lot of that. That I don't want my child mimicking, hearing, let alone being a part of, you know what I'm saying? How do I balance the two? It isn't a balance. It's a it's a thin line and there's no man on earth who can walk it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta pick a side. And <clears throat> but me and my parents, it's cold as hell out here, bro. <laughs> but me and my parents had this conversation a lot. And I believe it's a time and place for everything. I don't like to act like I'm picture perfect. I don't like to act like I'm a hundred percent pure, good. Nobody is, I'm human. And with my art, I like to let my fans or whoever to like to join my journey with me see all of it, the good, bad. So when I'm rapping and saying bad stuff for Blase Blase, it is what it is in that moment for that song. But as if you follow my journey, you'll see me evolve. The more the more music I drop now, I'm cleaning it up more. It's it's less about nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Like my old music, you hear it, I'm rapping about nothing. You know? Chains, bitches, money, all this good stuff, nothing. And my newer music, music that I'm releasing now, it's about elevation. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's happening with the mind, the body, and the soul. My children, you feel what I'm saying? Financial literacy, getting top, getting on top of that shit, you feel me? Spitting his own way, spitting my reality. Like, my reality isn't all fucking books and suits and stuff like that, you feel me? So why would I rap like that? Why? And my son's reality isn't that either, so he, I wouldn't expect him to expect me to rap like that. So, like, I feel like somebody, <clears throat> I feel like a human just portraying his art, and that looks exactly like me. So sometimes it's mixed, that you can't tell if this is good or bad. If it, nah, you can tell if it's good or bad. Like, it's a big difference between out here, it's a big difference between murder music and music that that could be labeled PG-13 <laughs> and be rated, rated R, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> oh God, it's a big difference. I don't make murder music. I don't make music that is destructive to my community or any community, you feel what I'm saying? Like, and, and that alone, I'm proud of. However, to speak on a character traits that inside of my music that I don't want my child mimicking, I want to clean up the things that make it rated R, you feel what I'm saying? I want to, but, I'm just not at that point in my life and I'm a 23 year old man, you feel me? I'm not going to act like I am. Right. <laughs> you feel me? You got to let you got to go through the stages you go through, you know. And I think that's major because I was talking to 100 grand yesterday and we was talking about the power of choice, you feel mm -hmm. me? Like you got some people that's strictly in a certain lifestyle, but then you also got some people that sees both of the lifestyle. Ooh. So it's major that you kind of give your child a little bit of both. So they can make that choice because they got that power to the decision themselves. Yeah. You can't force your child because they're gonna be rebellious. Yeah, bro. Hey, I, somebody told me like, I know if say you you got a child, you want him to be all good, you want him to be all God, you want to be all Christian and stuff like that, so that you hide him from the world, you hide him from the bad. He gonna be the most rebellious of them all, for real. You don't wanna. He's gonna itch so bad to figure out what it is you don't want him to do, like or her to do. You know what I'm saying? And it's, they're gonna chase it so much more, you know. So me, I'm like, bro, that's not life. I'm not gonna sit here and act like this is all sunshine and daisies, and I'm not gonna sit here and act like it's all fucking terrible and hate and grimy is not it's really right there in between the, the two <laughs> like this earth <laughs> uh god welcome so i'm gonna be the best that i could be to be a righteous and positive example like and person and that don't mean i'm gonna sit here and try to make that out of my son or anybody else around me like i'll be me the best that I can be and allow them to make that choice. So give them 100% of me though, because if I give them anything else, it would be deceif a deceiver in a way, you know what I'm saying? And, but God is his key. That's what we lack for real as a generation. 
It's guidance. Nobody got no guidance because nobody trusts they so. Thanks. Speak on that a little bit more. Guidance. What do you mean by that? Guidance to this generation. Well, we in a generation of information and everybody got an opinion. And social media has given everybody's opinion a platform of of influence. And the problem with that is <clears throat> influence and guidance are 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 like twins. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? And since everybody's an influencer now, they think they're a guider. Like they out here talking half truths. They they so filled up with wisdom. They don't even know what the knowledge is. They ain't went out here and studied for years and and backed up their studying with action for years. You know what I'm saying? And and in whatever field that they're doing. Facts. Once you do that, you can guide someone because you got it yourself. You disciplined yourself. You gotten up every day. You've dealt with the days you don't want to do it. You and still did it. You've dealt with the days where you physically are, are, are hurt or something and still did it. You've dealt with the days. So now you can tell someone else when they're being a bitch. You can tell someone else when, oh, you just need a break. You can tell someone else this, that, and the other and, and really stand on it. And when they say, you're being mean or when they say, or you're being a dick or, or you're being this, that, and they try to criticize your guidance, it can withstand. We don't have any guiders out here because we don't have anyone who's been disciplined enough to stand and, and withstand the the pressures of life. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, and judgment and all that good stuff. There's too many people out here just trying to give their opinion and their guidance, but not put in the work to influence Because they want the influence that that comes with being a guider. You know what I'm saying? The only problem is they don't want the pressures and, and the disciplines that come with being a guider. You know what I'm saying? That's all we need is, is somebody, some bodies Need to because no man can stand by himself. Unity is key, especially in the black community, bro. We need guiders, and with guidance, the influence will turn more progressive. And and I don't mean like progressive as in like, oh, we gotta be more progressive. No, like progressive as in the shit that we speak, the shit, the positivity, all this. Rising and shine and shit, all this good stuff that's being pushed will actually have a physical effect on the children. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They growing up playing chess now. They growing up just making better decisions, better choices for yeah, themselves. I feel like a lot of that is just in the music, which is the guidance nowadays. Woo! Because that's all the kids are listening that's to. That's the biggest guider. You know what I'm saying? The music, that's the thing that you're going to listen to, regardless if you're listening to your parents or not. Regardless of you listening to your coach or not, regardless of your relationship is going good or bad, music is always going to be there. So we be saying, man, it ain't the trap music, it ain't this music, it ain't that. Music don't have as much of an influence as it does. It does. It has as much as influence as anything in this world. The only problem is, is it doesn't make the choices for us. That's, that's where we confuse it. They'll be like, Man, music didn't make nobody go out here and kill you. Absolutely right. Did it influence them to? Absolutely. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because you got to look at their patterns throughout their day. You feel what I'm saying? Like, what they do? They wake up and listen to this. Now, what are they listening to? Like, what are they saying? Do they listen to anything else if they don't? Like, there are literally people who wake up and listen to NBA Young Boys from the moment they wake up to the moment they go to sleep. If they play a song, it's going to be that or, triggers them. or relative to that. You feel what I'm saying? So whether it triggers them or not, it's in their subconscious, it's in their thoughts. Like, <laughs> like they can't even help it. This is like when they go out of outside of their environment around people who don't listen to what they listen to and, and think like they you and have that. the habits, you start seeing a little difference and they won't understand why everybody judging them or just don't fuck with them or shit like that. And it's because, bro, your whole energy is is accumulated of one type of energy like you know what i'm saying like you gotta you gotta branch out so that's why i say i do agree with people when we be like music don't make the choices for you because if you listen to the whole types of music then music isn't influencing you as much as it is somebody who's only listening to one type exactly. you know what i'm saying exactly. oh god and if you making music that's very essential try to branch out because you end up boxing yourself in into a genre 
that isn't healthy for your growth, your spiritual growth. So now you're 36 talking about the same fucking shit. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? And you're doing the same stuff because what you talk about is what you think about. And what you think about is what you do. <laughs> like, and what you do creates right, right. your reality. You feel what I'm saying? So motherfuckers 40 years old in the same type of energy and the same reality. Talking, trying to point the finger. And they, <laughs> you feel me? And it's all connected. For real, but yeah, the power of music is, is essential in the in the guidance of our youth, because, like I said, no matter who you matter in this world, no matter who you have you in this world, no matter what you're doing in this world, you gonna be listening to music <laughs> on God. So like, bro, just just watch what you consume, like eating wise, eating wise, eating wise, bro, for real. It's like all of it, you are what you eat, and really you are what you consume. You are what you take in, for sure. And and what you take in is going to dictate how you choose to God and influence the world around you, for sure. It's deep. It's deep. I feel like it's gonna go over a lot of people's heads, though. Oh fuck! I mean, ain't it ain't fuck them. It is what it is. It ain't gonna go over a lot of people's head as well. The people say that don't go over is the people you talk to. For sure. We get so caught up on like the people who don't listen. Like it's like <laughs> if if it was hundred people in this field right here and I yelled out them, I yelled out there it was like, I love all of y'all. And only one was like, I love you too. And I choose to be depressed because 99 of them motherfuckers ignored me. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, that's what we do with our art. That's what we do with everything. Like, we got them. I love y'all to 100 people and get mad at 99 motherfuckers for not saying it back. Nigga, you're not required to say it back. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, and why would I want 99 people whose nature isn't to say it back to say it back? You feel I'm looking for that one person. Now that one person, you come with me. Let's go build an empire of other you. So like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, if we could do that with our art, with, with, with everything we believe in, how we feel, you feel what I'm saying? We get so much further. We get so much further, bro. Oh God, like, like all the content you ever made, and you put it out there. Let's say you get 50 likes, and you got like 5,000 followers. That you makes you feel some type of way by nature. It's designed to make you feel that way. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But if you got the power to just every day be like, thank you, 50 people. That's your community. You know what I'm saying? That's your community. And that community either grows or it doesn't. It's about how you feel about that community. That's that's the biggest test. I feel like God, Yahweh, the law, the universe, whatever the fuck you call it you want to call it, I think that's his biggest test or it's the biggest test for you. It's like, when I give you what you ask for in the amount that I choose to give it to you, will you be satisfied? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's <laughs> like, nah, I want 20 doses of it. I gave you one. Nice. You gonna make 20 doses. <laughs> like, you know, I gave you everything you need, bro. Like, I, you got everything you need. You just don't got it how you want it. And, and you feel some type of way about it. So now, you're gonna destroy everything I gave you and complain. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's that's just us as humans for shit show. And if we can get that out of our system, it'd be a, it'll be the first steps like a beautiful. Beautiful world. So so speaking on that and, and just the community talk, like that's major, bro. But like as a community, where do you think the black community starts with? You know what I'm saying? How do we start to become unified as a whole, as a black community? Self. It's almost contradictive, but self. We can't help nobody if we don't help ourselves. What I mean by that is we got to change our interests. Somebody else controls our interests. Like, you feel what I'm saying? As a, as a black person. As a person in general in America, but definitely as black people in America, somebody else control our interests. We think naturally we are interested in the things we are interested in. You feel what I'm saying? But these things that we are interested in, these 
these products, these materialistic things, these product bags, these motherfucking cars, these whips, these SRTs, all these good things, all these things that we are interested in are pushed to us. You feel what I'm saying? So that we don't ever think about things like, yo, what if I bought the factory that these things that I love was produced in? What if I bought the land that those factories was on? What if I, you feel what I'm saying? What if I, matter of fact, bought the community I lived in and then just decided to to do everything that I complain about is fucked up with my community? What if, what if every black person in this community thought like what I just said? You feel what I'm saying? Like, what if that was our interest? It just was. You feel what I'm saying? What if it was? It looked very different for the people in charge or the people who was pushing these products that we so are interested in. You feel what I'm saying? And we so love so much. It looked very different. So if we individually change our interest and then come, our, it, our interest would guide us to each other. Like, yo, I want this community to look better for my children and your children because I want my child to have somebody to play with. I only have one son. I want him to have friends to play with, but I want those friends to be to be pretty good people. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, and, it, and then those people that I'm talking to want the same thing and those people, and then we just draw together and now we got a fucking community of people who are buying black, but we buying black and those people that we're buying from are buying from black merchants and shit like that. So now we look very similar to the Italian community or the Mexican community or the Jewish community or the or the high class white community. You know what I'm saying? Our dollars start to stay in our community a little longer. And the fact that our dollar leaves our community within 16 to 19 hours is, is a problem. Like we're going to go buy Christian Dior or, or you feel what I'm saying? Balenciaga. Oh, we, we, because our interest they got they they're holding it they they control it and we can, we swear up and down our thoughts is our own we swear up and down we are our own man we swear up and down nobody think like fuss but we all go buy the same shit as soon as we get bread <laughs> like it's crazy it's it's kind of it's, it's it's a little funny for real but there's the key our interest that we could just boom realize that all right everything that i feel like I should go get with my paycheck has low key been programmed for me to want to go get with my paycheck. Let's say I don't even go get nothing like that with my paycheck. I do something different with it. You feel what I'm saying? Completely out the blue. And then almost everybody around me start doing that too. And I don't necessarily mean you got to just stop buying everything you're interested in. It's just start paying yourself first. And if you could pay yourself first and convince those around you to pay yourself first that there is a community you feel what i'm saying that is literally a community right there we are paying ourselves let's start um let's start there where you was talking about about how the black dollar leaves the black community within about 16 to 19 hours oh yeah speak on that a little bit oh for sure like yeah man st statistically speaking on the ethnical level I, I say the Jewish dollar leaves their community within like 70, it's like, it takes like 70 days for them, meaning that they'll, if they go buy some shoes, the, the owner of those, that shoe store is a Jewish person. If they go buy some insurance, the owner of their insurance is a Jewish person. If Mexicans go buy, you feel what I'm saying, some food, the owner of that food is probably from a Mexican person. And, and the people that that Mexican restaurant buy the food that they supply from is from a Mexican community. You feel what I'm saying? And so it takes a while for their dollar to leave their community. Which is making their community rich. Exactly, or just sustaining it. It, 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 it at least exists, you feel what I'm saying? The black community doesn't even exist in that proportion because we don't ever do it long enough. We, we, we'll go buy black, we'll go buy a shirt from a black store and say we bought black right and that black store is buying their product from white merchants and things like that you feel what i'm saying so it's like even 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 when we buy black it circulates right back into the white community within seven 16 to 18 to 19 hours so if we could just build on top of the things that we own build on top of the things that we supply and, and expand on our interest as as far as 
we don't only just sell shoes. We don't only just sell, you feel what I'm saying? Like black owned things. And I know that we have more black owned things out, out there. It's just, how do we start to reach each other more? You feel what I'm saying? We gotta change the, our interest and in what we like to record and push to each other. It's all in interest, you feel what I'm saying? We gotta change on how we, we don't wanna go reach out with these motherfuckers until they get a specific type of number so that they can look good on my page. Cause I'm trying to look good for a specific crowd and things like that. If we could change that shit right there, like it don't even matter in the white community. It's like, I don't give a fucking, my cousin, is pushing over, he pushing some shit that I don't even fuck with. And he's still in my wheel. We, our business is still connected. My shit's still fun of his, and his is fun of mine, and, and things like that. that it's called connection by default. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? We don't think like that because we've been like, I say we've been subconscious, subconsciously pushed to think selfishly. Me first. Like, me first. Me first. If I can, if I get myself up, then I can pull you up. Or if I get myself up, fuck if you get up or not. Oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's genuinely how we think. It, it's called survival of the fittest. And who taught us this? Where are we learning that at? Started in slavery, man. <laughs> Public school and teach you survival of the fittest? Come on, bro. What the fucking Darwin? <laughs> like, natural selection? Come on, bro. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a different form of brainwashing. But it's like, you can call it whatever the fuck you want to call it. I don't even gonna call it brainwashing. I call it somebody else's thoughts. See, natural selection and the thoughts of natural um, survival of the fittest lead you down the road of selfishness. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, as long as I get mine, I'm straight. As long as my family got mine, got theirs, we straight. Which is the opposite of community. It's the opposite of unity. It's the opposite of progression. <laughs> it's just single people One man at the top It's alone at the, It's as lonely as fuck at the top Bro it's cold up there Ain't nobody to hug on Ain't nobody to build with Ain't nobody to talk to Ain't nobody to expand with So if we could just Erase That nat That natural urge Of survival of the fittest You feel what I'm saying Come on bro What's natural is That we've built communities In the past That tame that urge Of survival of the fittest It's not all about you it, 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 if it was all about you, it wouldn't be 9 billion people on the planet. What the fuck is Come on, you know what I'm saying? It's about us. And once black people start really, really standing on that, like, like really standing on that, psh, that's when that dollar start looking a little different. We might be able to build, we might rebuild um, America's Black Wall Street. You feel what I'm saying? It might look a little different today because they can't just come bomb that. <laughs> and if they do, it, it is, it's all out war now because there's cameras everywhere. But see, the thing is, is like the chances of something like that being built again in 2023 is very rare. And the and the reason why is because people's interest like Bro. everywhere. <laughs> it's so different. Like, it's so how are we gonna come together when motherfuckers interest is on a whole different universe like you know what i'm saying like and and how did that happen the internet social media which what's on your mind <laughs> you know what i'm saying everybody's opinion matter here on game so opinion in fact start to intertwine at that point and once opinion in fact intertwine things that really 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 are important don't even cross motherfuckers' mind. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? And when they do, boring. <laughs> oh, God. For shit show. Yeah, man. But that's why uh, black community, that's what we waiting on. Our interests to align. 